our Larry McReynolds tracked down Addington to go over his keys to the race. Well, thanks, Lindsay, and it's time for Larry Mack's keys to the race for this 400-mile race at Michigan, and who better to help me than the pole sitter? In fact, three consecutive poles in a row, Steve Addington, crew chief for Kurt Busch, and that number 22, Penzoil Dodge. Steve, what would you think to be the biggest key for this race today? Well, to make sure that we get the car fuel on full on every pit stop, and uh, the key to that is, and, and Chris Williams, my gas man, he does an awesome job, where we look at, we, you've got this clear vent tube here that when you plug in and it starts getting full, you'll start seeing fuel here. What well, we found out that that's not exactly full when you first start seeing fuel in this thing. So, you know, we got to make sure that it gets packed up here. I'm watching him and looking at this vent tube too to make sure that all the bubbles have stopped coming up through there and get and packing two or three inches of fuel is settled in this right here before I send the car because if you just see right when you first see fuel with this new fueling system it's, it doesn't have this vent tube packed so we, we wait and we make sure that we've got it settled in here for it to make sure that we've got the car packed full and and that plays off into the end of the race of knowing that you've got the vent tube that's extra fuel for when it comes down to it and you can run a extra quarter or half a lap it gets you to the end so uh that's what we pay attention to on pit stops to get us good fuel you know to make sure the car is full and, and considering we've had three caution free races here at michigan <laughs> fuel mileage could be so important steve i think your other key has to do with something in the front of the race car well here at michigan tires get old you lose grip you know this track lap times fall off and everything and we, we really pay attention to how much we engage the bump stops with our spring rates and stuff and keep our front end turning and that way that allows you not to have to free the car up with the back of the car so we want to get our attitude right we don't want to engage those bump stops too hard and it just puts pressure on the tires and, and where's your tires were so we've been really pay attention to how much we load our bump stops with the sway bar and our front geometry to to keep gripping the car but we also play with our shock bleed to keep the attitude of the car to keep that splitter on the ground because you got to play with it from how much you set your bump stop gaps and stuff and how much you can drag that splitter. And if you get that splitter too hard on the ground, then the tires are off the ground and you have no grip. So we, we really have been paying attention to working all that. And of course, air pressure could be pretty important for that front grip. How about the third key, Steve? Third key is track position. And, and, and with the way the qualifying has been going and we've had good qualifying results the past three weeks and getting to start up front and had the number one stall. So that's helped us a ton on track position. The thing is that like Michigan and Kansas and places, we're running from the bottom to the top. So you, if you've got a really good car, you can make passes, but you'll see guys run guys down and then they kind of stall. And that's all the arrow effects. So if you've got that clean air out front, you can get gone from them, Larry. Well, Lindsay, considering a third of the Michigan races have been won from the front row, you might want to keep an eye on this man in that 22 Dodge today. 